Do you have to pay back food stamps? We get asked this question all the time, so today we're going to answer. I'm Nicole from Low Income Relief, where we help millions of people save money and get free stuff. Unfortunately, the answer to this question is a little complicated. There are three circumstances in which you may need to pay back food stamps, but these situations do not happen very often. In this video, we'll explain the three reasons you may have to repay your benefits and what to do if you find yourself in that situation. Before we begin, I want to make it clear that you usually do not have to pay back food stamps. As long as you receive food stamps benefits accurately and legally, you do not have to pay them back. It is very important that you use accurate, up-to-date information on your application and keep your information updated with the food stamps office as you receive these benefits. This will ensure that you never receive an overpayment. Unfortunately, you do have to pay back food stamps if you get an overpayment. Overpayments can happen for several reasons and it may not even be your fault. There are basically three ways that overpayments happen. First, the agency may make a mistake. The government agencies that oversee food stamps are run by people, and people sometimes make mistakes. Sometimes, these mistakes may mean that you receive more food stamps than you were really eligible for. Even though it may not be your fault, you may have to pay back food stamps if you receive extra funds due to an agency error. Second, overpayments may also happen if you intentionally give fraudulent information to the food stamps office. Intentionally misleading the government agency in charge of food stamps constitutes fraud and that is illegal. If you have committed fraud, you may face additional penalties that vary by state. In addition to paying back those benefits, you may have to pay fines and even spend time in jail. You may also be disqualified from receiving food stamps in the future. Third, and perhaps most common, overpayments may happen due to accidental household errors. This may happen when you accidentally provide incorrect information on your application or forget to update your information with the food stamps office in a timely manner. Remember, you are obligated under the rules of the program to report fluctuations in your income and expenses within a certain period of time. So what happens if you have to pay back food stamps? There are several ways that the food stamps office will recover the overpayment. If you are still receiving benefits when you have to pay them back, the amount you receive will usually be reduced by either $10 or 10% per month, whichever is greater. For example, if you receive $200 in food stamps per month, then your monthly repayment should be $20 and you would receive only $180 per month until the debt was repaid. If you are no longer receiving food stamps, it may be more complicated. The agency will most likely try to get you to agree to a repayment plan. If you do not agree to the plan, they may be able to recover your funds in other ways, such as garnishing your wages, garnishing your other benefits such as unemployment, and garnishing your tax returns. Garnishing means that the money will be withheld before you ever receive it. Garnishment is a legal process in which a third party, such as an employer, deducts payments for the person that you owe. If you have been informed of an overpayment, here's what you need to do. The office will inform you, usually with a letter, if they think that you have been overpaid. If this happens, it is important that you follow the instructions on that letter. If you disagree with their determination, then you will need to call the office and speak to someone directly. You have the right to appeal their decision, but you will need to file that appeal within a specific time frame. Usually that's 60 to 90 days. During the appeal, you will receive additional information about the overpayment, and you will be able to present your side of the story to a hearing officer that has not previously been involved in your case. According to Pine Tree Legal Assistance in Maine, you may be able to negotiate the amount of debt you owe if you are not still receiving food stamps. To learn more about that process, please visit us online at lowincomerelief.com slash pay dash back dash food dash stamps. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel and enable those notifications so you never miss another Food Stamps video.